Welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Faraz, and in today's episode, I am going to be catching up with Richard Paris, co-founder of Saito Network. We're going to be talking about community updates. We're going to be talking about listings. We're going to be talking about what's the latest in the project, new hires, tech. We're going to be talking about quite a few things. So before we do, don't forget to hit the like button below. Certainly subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming contents. Come on over and join us in the Telegram channel. Plenty of alpha being shared there as well. Not just Saito, but everything in general around crypto as well. And I will see you on the other side. So Richard, welcome back to the show. Always happy to have you here. Always happy to have Saito updates. So how have you been? Great, as always. Yeah, great as always to be here. I love these chats. Excellent. Right. So, Richard, let's kick straight in. Let's start with marketing and community. Um, Look, Um, the community I've noticed has been expanding in general. Um, And when I mean expanding, we're sort of going beyond English, right? So it seems to be we're hitting worldwide territories here. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's not just that. The you know that there is an expanding community, but that community is also organizing and self-setting mm. up uh, groups to do some translation work, etc. Obviously, we can't always have all of our material, like the white paper, yeah. etc., in every language. I think we've got six kind of semi-formal, uh, self-started, non-English groups now that mm. that um, you know run Telegram communities mm. and do do that kind of translation work, etc., which is just amazing. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's really good, actually, especially because, I've, you know, we are we are in a global environment here. So English is not everybody's first language, right? And uh, you kind of see it in various well, communities, you know, is is well, there a Taiwanese group? Is there a Vietnamese group, right. for example? Well, it's, it's one of those things, it's easy for, as an English speaker, to forget yeah. that. I mean, fortunately, in terms of that, I live somewhere where I'm not the native speaker yeah. most of the time. <laughs> so i kind of so reminded of that every time I try and get a bus. But um, no, no, it's 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 really great to us. I mean, it also has been a bit inspirational and has like helped us get to, get our thoughts together into gear on uh, getting some stuff around the wiki happening. Mm. Uh, and we've brought some people in from community to start helping kind of build some more formalized ways just to help people find out how they can be part of this kind of thing and give them a bit more of a rewarding experience yeah. when they when they turn up. Um, so, you know, we'll try and do more to support, say, these language groups, but also uh, some early projects trying to build things, you know, community projects, building things on the network, um, as well as, you know, helping people find ways they can support in other ways that they're kind of people turning up and saying, hey, I've got, you know, graphic design skills or I've got, you know, language skills. How can I help? How can I be part of this? So we're trying to make sure that if people are going to be that generous that we can support them and give them a really cool experience. Yeah, nice. I mean, it it, it kind of uh, leverages on the whole crowdsourcing space as well at the same time, right? Because you're getting Mm -hmm. collective knowledge of everyone's uh, experiences. Yeah. So in terms of the wiki, Obviously, there's the community yeah. section within the wiki seems to be expanding as well. How, what can you yeah. share about that? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the first steps are being done again. I mean, we're sort of trying to get community in to, mm. to help start building this themselves. You know, it, it, we want it to be for community and by community. So we're not imposing onto what's going on. What we're trying to do is provide support and get things going. So we're starting our first couple of pilots on, mm. you know, some software, uh, looking at, at the the forum software that we have built into the arcade and the, that that stack, and seeing how we can make that something really cool for the community to be involved with, um, and make that a top flight on chain Web three application. Um, you know, it's a, it's a um, stub at the moment. It doesn't have a lot of the cool features that you know other pro, other software does, but. Um, you know, it's got Saito powering it and it's got an amazing community. And so we'd like to see where that can go and and how we can build that um, along with with a bunch of other stuff. So again, it's about making sure those experiences are are rewarding and people are getting something out of, you know, the the work that they're, you know, kind of bringing to us. Interestingly enough, what I've noticed actually is um, there's been a lot more AMAs um, in general around Saito. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I I saw you recently on... um, Hoshoshi's uh, uh, yeah. podcast recently. So clearly well, there's, a, there's a lot more yeah. um, outreach happening no, or, or even people reaching out yeah. to you. Right. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's, it's my, my parents who are not avid Twitter users, I think, mm. you know, that could have remembered they had Twitter on their phone. And one of them, I think it was my father, asked me, what's with all the red squares? Like, what's happened? <laughs> 
<laughs> so have I joined a cult? Um, and I was like, oh, no, that's just the Saito community. You know? mm. And he's like, that's like, he said, as soon as he connected to me, he was like inundated with red squares. <laughs> And yeah, I'm hearing from from the likes of you and then other other people we work with that the content around Saito gets really great support yeah. and, and really good engagement. Um, and I think that's paying off. You know, we see our community, but also um, you know, existing followings on Twitter or for yeah. different um, you know, kind of industry people pushing them towards us. So, you know, I'm talking to a couple of people at the moment that started off from Twitter DMs that started off from them being added and uh, by their own community to sort mm. of like get these guys on your show or into your space somehow. So I think that's that's a real demonstration of both the power of the community and also the you know the, the message we've got that it's interesting and that people are really starting to to you know grapple with it and enjoy yeah, it. It's nice. It's really great to see. So let's talk about Saito as we are doing already. But what I, what I specifically mean is we're almost coming up to one year for the uh, IDO anniversary, yeah. right? So um, what do yeah, you share around that? It's, it's been a, an amazing year. Um, I mean, really, it has. It's it, The project's gone from something, you know, pre-IDO. Mm. People are a little, you know, oh, are you really a project or not? Even though we'd had working software yeah. and you know, <laughs> you know, a bunch of transactions on our networks and stuff for some time. Um, and it's just been a skyrocket, particularly, I think, sort of around October last year, we really started to find our messaging and, and connect with com- with the community and, mm. and, like, all the stuff we've just been saying. That's been really powering the project from strength to strength. Um, you know, we've seen things like the pancake swap uh, effort from our part, um, and I think people have been very conscious of our sort of stance with, with listings, and that's something we've been gearing up on a little bit more recently Mm. and a big part of that is again uh, because of that community support um, because of kind of performance over the last year um, and the stance we've been taking you know exchanges are being much more reasonable and much more interested in working with us on something that's going to be positive for all community and existing holders you know uh, with the IDO we could have even back then we could have gone to some of the bigger exchanges and just organized the price to pay but it would have involved dumping you know more than some, you know, like more than the round we'd raised yeah. on on uh, on retail, basically, um, on people who'd come in of their own, you know, done the hard work, done the research, found us, got an interest in the project. Yeah. And so we've always been really cautious about that. And what's good is that that stance and the hard work around growing the project is starting to bear some fruit. And I think that, you know, it's obviously important to have – the big exchanges on board at some point in terms of visibility, yeah. liquidity, availability to different people, you know, and we're also interested in making sure we've got multiple jurisdictions covered with some stuff that's been happening with, you know, some of the exchanges, particularly Gate at the moment, yeah. tightening, yes. you know, yes, I've noticed that recently, regulations actually. in some yeah. markets, you know, it's not, it's not what they want to be doing, but it's definitely happening. So to make sure people have multiple options and yeah. stuff is also something we want to, we want to make sure we do. In terms of uh, growing, uh, growing the Saito team, how, how are we looking in terms of the hiring front nowadays? Three, three. three. There you go. Uh, offers gone out mm. uh, just today, actually. So today, three people got emails saying we'd like to work with you. Um, that's the result of a lot of you know hard work on on the part of the team to find you know, good people who mm. fit and drive Saito forward. Yeah, hiring is always rough. Um, really looking forward to what they bring to the team. It's it's really exciting, uh, you know, to stop feeling like these task lists are so long. There's so many yeah. things we want to do that aren't getting resourced, and to be able to put people to them, uh, you know, obviously you have to onboard people, get them running, yeah, up and running. Yeah. But yeah, it's great. It's great, and it means we can get on to you know, kind of the next group. <laughs> given, I mean, given given the space that we're in, you know, there's mm. there's open source, all of those items around mm-hmm. it, right? I think what what are we doing in terms of the patent front? Because you know, as you yeah. get more known, as people look more into what it is that you're building, there's yeah. always the I would say opportunity for others to be able to take what you have, iterate, build better, build faster. Yeah. And I'm just curious, what what do we have in terms of protection for the network? Well, there's well, there's I mean, there's a couple. Of, we always went out to get patents, partially. Um, in some ways, just to demonstrate the novelty of what we're yeah. doing and because we didn't know who'd want to support it when and how. Mm. Um, the patents are primarily that you know defensive. What they mean is that we can go to people and say there will be one Saito network. Got it. Yeah. And so if you build on this, you're building on 
that network. Mm. It also means that if a corporation or something like that wanted to use some of the tech to do something interesting, useful internally or yeah. make a, like a corporate, you know, um, a kind of yeah, corporate chain for, for some other use that's not public, we could license that and that would benefit the project yeah. as a whole. So that, that it's really that. And what's happened in the last week is last week sort of mystically in day, within days of each other, even though they're utterly separate mm. processes, we, we landed both China and Europe, basically. So we had US patents um, and then we'd, we'd, we'd gotten those um, and sent, you know, kind of tried to get them more broad, uh, which is a painfully slow and difficult process. Actually, amazingly, the Chinese patent office, I think, have the best understanding of yeah. CIDO of any <laughs> of any of them. They really did the best job, I think, of like making sure that that they knew what was what was in content. Mm. Um, but it's just a little bit of validation as well. I think that's that's great for the project to have and for people to be able to see. Yes, there's novelty here and it's been recognised. Um, you know, it's not something we're going to be running around using, hopefully. Um, but it's good to have that as a, in our defensive uh, kind of toolkit. In terms of uh, the actual network itself, I mean, transaction-wise, what, what, what are you seeing through the pipeline? We kicked over, I think, last month, 20 million transactions, wow. which was, uh, you know, considerably faster than the first 10, you know, yeah. so that, that second 10 was faster mm. and we're on track now. Like, since then, we've had a million transactions, so I'd be hoping we kind of keep halving the time between those yeah. and that gets us to some, you know, obviously some really high numbers very soon. Uh, and we've got to, we're doing a bunch of work to make sure that that's that's possible. So from the uh, and obviously with the with the with the new hires uh, being uh, being asked mm. to join uh, Saito. So let's let's talk a bit about mm. tech and development. So how are we looking yeah. on the sort of consensus code front? Right. So we had the you know the kind of people are familiar with the roadmap. We we kind of did some fundamental uh, polish and rework on. The consensus code mm -hmm. you know, to get it to do things like have blocks in binary format, etc. That you know, really essential for going big and going public. Um, we have had about four or five weeks of that code running really solidly um, and hitting some great benchmarks. You know, like today we were resyncing the a node, so bringing it up to speed mm -hmm. with the chain, and it's pulling two hundred and fifty blocks. A second off wow, off the okay. desk and into into production, so they're not the biggest blocks, but that's really great to see that kind of performance mm. in the in, in the software, um, and you know just see that stability. So I think we've we've done a whole lot of hard work there that's not necessarily visible to people, and most of it's setting things up. So you know it's kind of people look people don't really see the difference, but I think if you go and you use the software, you know, at Cider.io, you'll see it's snappier and more responsive as well. So that's that's great validation that we, we're kind of knocking down technical milestones. Um, and we're following that up with a bunch of much more fun stuff like new games yeah. um, and generic crypto uh, yeah, inclusion. So that stuff will be, you know, much more, uh, glam, I think, uh, and we might have a bit of a month of, of more glamorous, you know, things coming out than, um, you know, consensus reworking. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. No, well, perfect. Well, look, Richard, as always, thank you very much for the quick update. I appreciate it. The community, I'm sure they definitely appreciate it. And uh, now, uh, we, we, we appreciate them. So, yeah, always, always happy to do something like this. Fantastic. So then we'll let's, let's catch up in about another month's time with some more updates for SISO then. Cool. Chat then. Thank Cheers, you. Richard.